underway again now. Here on map one of our second semi final. Do you know why it keeps breaking? I'm gonna have to look into it after today to see if there is a specific issue or a specific fix. Because this one's good. Ultra in the P1 meta. Oh. You are happy enough to let them have the majority of this. They're just gonna try and get fooled. Some good holds in P2. Ooh. Around a one of five. Not anymore. Gil left all alone in the point as well. Finds one. Trying to find a second through the smoke. Gets a punch in. That's about it. Verona. Back into the time. And it's a very nice point in terms of the hill. A nice spawn up here right below orange. Rosario finds one, finds two. Huge double kill from Rosario. And if get under there in time before Verano comes around, we can't. Does deal with him, but all of a sudden, even more players to deal with. Chulis already up top for Ultra. Starting to tick away out at Pina, just trying to be it out. Who's the task at hand? And now, looks like wins have to come here. Ah, those shots are hitting the moon sooner than they're hitting. Any of the enemy players. Not a bad grenade toss, but not a good enough grenade toss. Look at Gwynard. He's sneaking around the back. He's gonna be in the new hill and he's needing it, thinking someone's gonna be in here. They're all dead, though. And he's the only one here. Good shot. Has all of them to find across the map. Bernard should get called out now, and he is. Toronto can retake control of this fairly simply. The key simple aspect of that is to actually get a kill. Which doesn't happen. Bernard thinks, oh well I'm gonna blow up to my own group. I'll just, well just blow myself up even quicker and throws another one. Penis starts snaking around on the top of a desk. It is ultra good breaking again. We're looking to just break right back in again. That's what happens. So seemingly having no interest in holding that hill for any decent amount of time. But what is decent is being up 80 seconds. Going into this kitchen hill. Soaking it in. Already in that time. Takes just one person with a fanic. To run through them all. And get close spawn. Lower this body count, but um, 
are really not getting anywhere. It's a combined 13 for 3 of the players. It's now on, on a team spree of a lot. It's gonna be a full 60 from New York. More or less. Barring the like 10 seconds of contest time that came through there. And finally woke up here on the other side. Toronto. Bit of a shot to the system here. Esposito with a lovely double kill. Really nice. Learning about the front side. Sorry, I nearly snuck through the back end. Leonard finds a good kill across on Verano. Throws a grenade into the mixer. Bill is apparently invincible brief. Verano lost one in there for New York. Runs through the smoke, finds one, can't find any more. Ultra. Starting to tweak a wee bit. And this game is all but all square. Twenty to one twenty one. Going into our second go at P2. New York now in the lead of the match after being down 80. But a beautiful pitch and hold. That's what defines this lead change. Ultra. I've got maybe about 10 seconds in the last two hills. Can that change here? Bomb. Oh, it runs out of ammo. Finally. Back into the time. Our Toronto Esposito. Getting so many good kills and so is this man the throat goat. Finally they're both shut down. I've got to deal with a mid push. Shut does get that dealt with. Good chicken apparently see Rosario through the wall. Rosario just responds back. Gil sort of poos on him. Yeah. Sees Kutcher going through bottom of the wall. Sees all of New York down mid. Kutcher thinking about climbing the stairs, but he's going to win. Kutcher aggressive, and that goes horribly wrong. Toronto should be in control here. Or maybe not, actually. No, yeah, they, they should be good. It's Kutcher coming across the bridge, though. He's is it enough to get the kill? No, it's not. Ultra almost just holding on for dear life. They're still in the lead here. Their P3 was good last time. It's another good one so far. Only 10 seconds left to go again. Look at that. It's Pina this time in the back. New York have not picked it up again. Look at the squad spawns. That could be detrimental for New York. Chillis kills the whole pressure. Go runs in. Can't find anything. 20 seconds now. They're all with Ultra Need. They're all focused on the side door. It's working out for them at the minute. Can get right off anybody down the down the door. It was Gwynard's right there. Esposito runs in, finds one. Yeah. Still the playmaker. Jesus Christ! Jill get Jill Gill gets sent. And that's the map. Very good from Ultra in the end. Slightly scary. You were up a decent amount. Actually, I wonder if those streams that broke, did they... No, they lasted two entirely different lengths of time. I think they might have been similar. They weren't. They weren't. Nothing similar happened at all. It's going to be B site control. For Toronto. Hey, he might be able to find something on the sniper. Not gonna happen though. It's all on me, Ashiro. Going around immediately, it's 
spot that does find us, but say that. He have just walked on by and is somehow alive. Really bad shots by me, I share. Could have made something of that round, but um, alas. A-site push coming in now. There's gonna be here to the rest of me. Shiro misses the knife, but that's enough. Just to put him off. That kind of does a bit of damage, and he's got a whole lot of pressure on this door. Doesn't know when or who to shoot, and the bomb might also be broken. Which is always a good thing. I'm hoping McCabe can snap them out of it. That'll do. That'll do, because now the bomb will get planted without bother. Thank you, McCabe. Thank you for that very much. Right, we're getting aggressive here on Esposito, and wins it, and we're 1-1. One -one. Great, now I've got the guns. Round three. Ultra all coming to A and only one man here to stop him, it's Meashiro. He's done pretty well so far this map and that's a questionable gunfight to say the least. Ray's gonna run down tunnel and he's just gonna keep running. You know, he sees the bomb being camp, he sees another player swing him, but he's just gonna keep on zooming. And that's everybody dead again fairly, fairly quickly. On the, um, the New York side of things. to do something. We'll be good. Oh, I mean, a bit, bit delayed there. I was like, what is going on on my map? Raze again, he's been the aggressor on this on the work side, and it works out most of the time. He finds one, can't find any more. Nice to see there. Those Hong's just around the corner. Finds it, and it's only a 1v2. Miyashiro also getting aggressive. New York, really? Not a team to sit still. And wait for the pressure to come through. They're gonna just handle business. on the broad bad side. Bomb's not going to get planted either, so it's a good thing they're getting aggressive on them, because it might not get planted. Okay, it is going to get planted, so it doesn't matter. Hall's here anyway, though. To die. He does die.
match point for Toronto. Map point for Toronto. It would be to go 2 0 up in the series. Take a 2 2 split on defense. Bomb's gonna run down the middle of the map, and we've seen that go wrong before. Agar misses a shot though. Esposito somehow finds two. He's gonna walk into the grenade though, and Ray's. Does get the kill. Gonna be a 2v2. McCabe could catch him off. It's a big win. All on Mia Shear. Gets the trade. 1v1. Mia Shear with Miller. Miller spots him. Gets the throwing knife. He sits in the smoke and gets the kill. That'll do, Ultra. That'll do. They take it. And they take a 2 0 lead in the series. The grand finals is within touching distance. But, like, at least this time, it's not. You know. Breaking my stuff. To control we go. Ultra on offense to kick it off. One tick on A already. Jill is the only guy on B, he's now gonna fall. Moving fast at the A point and too fast for New York to handle. At A point, down and dust. What? Look at you. Maybe it was you, you know. That could have broken. Just going to make sure that it's not further breaking. Ah, okay. There's no way to win. What's happening? B point defense. The throat goat finds two. Maybe might have found a third. Spawn Turn off respawn. Gets him two. Throat goat activities continuing. Just shooting through the smoke. I don't even know if anybody's there. There was one. He's a mild man. Joel is coming through the small room with a sniper. Not ideal. Should be able to get us to see it. There it is. Gil's going to be there to be had as well. Just fall before you can find him, and that's three dead. Verano in control of the home Gwynard. Going to pick up a huge double. Capture starting to come in for Ultra. Esposito coming into play from above. There's the one person who can't shoot. He shuts down the person who couldn't at the time because he was reloading. More players on the point for Rosario. He's gonna drop as well. Gwynard still just knocked down and thrown. And Toronto Ultra. They've put the foot down. And I think they've managed to hold on here. Barring a nuts 2 versus 11. Toronto, which I died at. You never know. Benetton's two, Gwynard. Can't pick him up and that's that. Round one goes the way of New York. God almighty. Let me just try this. Just try pressing this button. Oh, okay. So, I broke it. I, I broke it. 
did I know that what that did would break it? No. Do I know for next time? Yes. It still leaves me in absolute puzzle as to why the stream shut off twice. Whoa, okay. And actually, if anything, no, it should have shut off by now. If it was going to do the same as last time. How long has the stream been going for? 26 minutes? It could shut off any time in the next 5 minutes. So if you're watching, just be weary. <laughs> it might just disappear. And then I have to restart it again. This is already the third separate stream for today's two matches. Something doesn't like something. A capture in for New York, and they've got a decent amount of life advantage. We need to match it. Defense gets harder in these deeper rounds in the tournament. In fact, that New York already got one. Well, that just doesn't bode well. Initial capture gonna be stopped. Ferrano though picks up the trade. Kills with him in support. Two people on the point, not only one. Again, trades are there for New York. They're not gonna mind that whatsoever. All these trades are good. Six lives to twelve. Those swings round. Despacito. Those goes right round the corner of that box. Sends Gwyneth to do the dirty work. And Gwyneth finds two. Cholos finds a third. There we go, Toronto. A bit of light. Throwing knife's gonna miss. Rosario picks up one. Picked up two as well. Pitcher gets the trade. Phyllis with a help and Pina from above. New York make it a two versus five. They've got to deal with the one on the point very quickly and successfully. There you go. Okay, two versus four. Kill. Gonna win it. It's all on Gwynard here. Not even looking the right way. Too much to do. New York. Two nil up in the control. Round three. Now, logically, Toronto should be able to get on the board here. All four of them on the A point. Shock stick on the doors just to slow it down, slow New York down that bit more. It's gonna be that. No real worries for the subliners here. It's their map to lose at the minute. They're in control. Pitcher on the flank. Get the wall bangs through. Jill is trying to make it interesting. Knows Kutcher's behind him somewhere. Knows in front of him somewhere. Knows a lot. Can he find anything? Still just trying to toy with the threat though. There's 18 and 10 on the map right now. on the B point. Look, actually, just about zero map prep. Look, it went on a little adventure for himself, and that's probably why. 
around when I comes back. Shots dying any person. Gil's gonna die as well. Rano, I love that child. The ego on this man. It's insane. Pitcher's gonna fall on the steps. Only 13 on the life count for Rano again. In the kill feed. Two Toronto players on the point. One in Rosario now, just lying to the side. Not gonna find anything there. Jealous Falls again, New York. Reset them. Still very much in Ultra's control and in their grasp, and especially when everybody's dead like that. Esposito, the last hope. He's not gonna do anything. All of Ultra are gonna hop this. Bar one, and New York aren't gonna get anywhere in time. They're on the board. Very little clips today, guys. What's going on? I'm literally going on a break for like a week and a half, and you're not giving me like a million clips to be like working on and uploading during that time. Like, really? That's not good. I've got one more match tonight. And that's it. For like the rest of the month. I need more than this. Sorry, I shuts down the B capture, but the A capture's still going strong at the minute. Pino with a little climber. Turns to see Verano literally just staring at him. And that A point is gonna be gone. Done and dusted. said this is where we would expect New York to close out the map here. They got their defensive round. We all no need to match it. The trades at the minute are going well. But you're coming through small, finds one as well. That's the path to the point open. But you're gonna capture it from the side. Let's try to jump fight. Apparently he's blind as well, which also doesn't help. Tech and a half, everybody from New York's on it. They're on the a slow approach. And I think that might be it, Chief. Ain't a last hope. He's mantling the fence. And New York are on the board. Just to you. A Vondel waterfront hardpoint. This maybe could be the worst idea I've ever had. But. I played the bots through one lobby. And you know what? It went okay. So let's hope it goes okay again. Alright. P1 right in the middle of the map. And Ultra are going to be in control of that for now. Gil is... Oh, okay, they're setting up for P2. I was wondering why Gil was just lying there. P2 meta still hangs in strong here, even on Vondel Waterfront. I don't even know where this hard point begins, not gonna lie. 
nearly a nice double kill. Let's see who's here for the contest. Uh, this map is kind of small, which could lead to a very contest-heavy experience. But again, in the one play test that I did, uh, it was it wasn't really like that. Somebody in the water. Oh no, Pena. Oh, Pena now. I mean, it is a waterfront after all, but Pena might be in trouble. We, we might be about to witness, unless Kutcher spots him. Oh, okay, no, Kutcher's dead. Pena may be in this puddle of water for quite some time. That was exhilarating. Can we have more of that? Yes, yes he is. Um, I hey, at least he's probably helping his team get P3, right? Ah, that's the nice way to look at it. Only well, takes one person to break in here. Yes, Toronto, we're playing a man down. Fish shouldn't fall in the water then, should he? Not a Oh wait, oh no wait, I thought he got out, he didn't get out, he's, he's still in there, he's fine. Pena may just be completely out of this. And you know what? I, I don't know, would this be unjust at this point? Oh no wait, Chulis might be about to fall in as well. No. Esposito, please tell me you see him. No. Wait. Pena. Yes. Yes. There we go. Oh my god. That's, a, that's the moment of the day right there. That is... That's high level excitement. Pena. Finally able to kill after... What was that? At least a hill and a half. Now he's in the game, now he can lock in. Not on just in the slightest. We're on a walk in the lead here, map 4. We head to 4. And Pina is just shooting everybody. See, this is why we needed to get him out of the pool. He only is it. Here he is, getting it, you know. Shutting up everybody on rotation. Time. What more could you want from a man? Esposito, thought about contesting. Fall, Chillis. Still holding the fort. First to 200 here in the semi final of hard points. Toronto have really managed to chain, chain together P3 and P4 quite nicely. Look at that next R point. Why is it all the way over there? It's fights across the map. Where's Esposito going? Okay. Now this one. This one can be a money hill, I think. I think we could see a full 60 here. Okay, maybe not, because Toronto win the gunfights and actually get the back spawns. So there won't be a full 60 for New York. Okay, now New York are going to get the back... Just completely forget about what I said about this being a money hill. The spawns don't know what they're doing. Although Chulis is literally soloing everybody. My god. The guy's popping up. Go put a marker on that. Thank you. Back to P1. Pina is reloading. That's why he's taking so long. <laughs> okay, Chillis. Oh my god, okay. 
He's on a tech. He's on an eleven. What? When did that happen? Who let that happen? Who hurt you? New York, they're down at the minute, but they're not out yet. They do need to lock in here. Show us after going on an 11 spree, which may be... Well, it's definitely one of the longest streaks that the bot league has seen. You know, he's going to be fell over here. Gwynard going to be in now. 30 seconds, all that's needed for Toronto Ultra here to book their spot in the grand finals. Toronto's going to fall. Pitcher picks up his trade. Here comes New York. Going to miss. Going to die to Rosario's double. Gil. He's also going to get spotted out. The push. Finding nothing at this moment. This is maybe the true money hill. This is the Unbreakable Fortress. And this is Toronto Ultra. In the Grand Finals. The top four. You know what? Bombdale Waterfront Hardpoint can stay. Yes, we have Tina swimming for a while. 